everybody. Welcome back to Stamping in Deerland with Lori Krause. Another episode of techniques, tips, and advice on rubber stamping. Today we're going to make this really quick and easy card. This is a great workshop card if you're a demonstrator. You've got lots of elements you can show. You've got cardstock. You can show them how to cut paper. You've got a nice little greeting, which... Um, it's out of one of my birthday stamps. You can you can have that in wood or clear mount. You can show them how to do that. Um, also, you've got a polymer stamp, um, blooming borders, which um, this is one of our clear polymer stamps, and this is one of our really super awesome acrylic blocks. Fits on there, absolutely wonderful. We've got some um, dimensionals. We're going to cut out some flowers, put some rhinestones on there. You can throw in some blendabilities and color your rhinestones. So this card has a lot of opportunity to show a lot of different products if you so choose to do that. So let's get started. So the first thing that we're going to have is um, a piece of cardstock um, folded. This would be 8.5 by 5.5. And this is our very vanilla, and I have this scored at four and a quarter. And then I used a bone folder. And if you don't have a bone folder, or don't know what a bone folder is, it's just a tool like this that we use to crease the card. I've been known to use it as a pry bar and a screwdriver and all kinds of other things. So we've got our card base. So when you hear me talk about a card base, you'll know what that's what I'm talking about. Um, this is some Mossy Meadow cardstock. I have this cut to 5 and 3 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth. That's just a, a, an eighth of an inch down, and that gives it a sixteenth of an inch border. I have some dimensionals on the back of this piece because I have that all ready to put it together when we're ready. And then the piece that I'll be working on is 5 and a quarter by 4, and this again is very vanilla. So, I'm all ready to make my card. So, what we're going to do first is I'm going to take my border stamp on my clear block and I'm going to ink that up with my Mossy Meadow Classic Ink. And as you can tell, that inks it up really well. And number one, you can see exactly where it goes. So, that's a huge bonus with the polymer stamps. You're going to see polymer stamps coming our way that are borders that you have to line up, um, alphabets that you have to line up, things that are two-step stamping. That way you don't have to really use the stamp on magic um, A lot of people have a lot of trouble with the stamp on magic I love it. It's easy to use, but some people have troubles. Um, here's one of our wood mount stamps. Happy birthday. We're just going to tap, 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 ink it up. And we'll give it a little stamp right here, nice firm pressure. So here's what we have so far, just a quick, easy, happy birthday. And we'll, of course, get our ink out of the way so we don't <clears throat> get that on anything. Um, I like to use snail adhesive to put my cards together. It's quick, it's clean, um, and it sticks well. So... This has got a nice little skinny border of a sixteenth of an inch when I get done with it. And then we'll peel those little dimensional papers off the back. Which, I'm not trying to hide that from you, it's just the angle of the camera. So, we have this. We'll layer that on here. Nice little skinny layer. Okay, so we have that. Now, what we're going to do is I've taken some DSP, and this is out of those little paper stacks um, that we have in the big catalog. This is the um, All Blooms, I believe it's called. And I have my little bitty um, punch from the trio of punches that's in the big catalog. This is the new little four-leaf flower, um, four petals. So I've just punched out five of those. And I've got my old um, mat from my old um, paper piercing just because it's not as big as it fits in this area a little better. The one we actually have now, I like the density of it and I like the size of it. But when making videos, it's a little easier to show you this little one. 
This used to actually be, we had these really cute little toolkits, and they were in there. So I like to carry this around with me when I use it for workshops sometimes. It's a little more portable. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stylus, and I'm going to use the big end because I'm using DSP. I want to use the bigger end so that I don't tear my DSP. And I'm just going to make a little circle right in the middle of my flower. And that's going to pull the petals up and give me a really cute three-dimensional flower. So there we have that. And then we're going to pull some rhinestones in here. And I took a few minutes before I started the video and I colored them with the darkest color of um, Old Olive Blendability. So now I have some green um, rhinestones. I like to use my paper piercer and I just pick that up and plop that right in the middle and uh, grab this up here for you. Um, you need this is an old paper piercer from Stampin' Up! I have a new one I just it's probably lost on my desk somewhere. That's how it rolls. This was, I always keep one of these right in the package with the um, rhinestone, so I always have one because I cut mine up into sizes and then put them into little boxes so that I always have plenty of them wherever I need them. And then I have a paper piercer in there as well, which makes it super handy. So we've got all of these on our little flowers now. Okay, so that's what we have. Little flowers with little rhinestones. Love that. Now, my favorite glue is going to be our Tombow liquid glue. And this border, it's kind of easy to decide where I want to put my flowers. I'm going to put one right here in the middle. I'm going to split that in half and put it in the middle. There's one. There's one. And there's one. A little off center. I don't want them right down the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these and put these on the glue. We'll give them a few minutes to dry. That Tombow dries super quick. You really only need a couple of minutes and they would be able to put this card into their envelope and be ready to go and take their make and take home with them. Well, there's our card, our completed finished card. Um, thanks for stopping by Deerland. I appreciate your... You're watching my videos, and we'll see you soon. Thanks again for watching Techniques, Tips, and Advice with Lori Krause. Bye-bye.